hello everyone in this tutorial i will explain you how to send a file using http client from power builder application to asp.net core web api before we start i will show you the how the output will be this is my simple form here are the options these are the arguments of what i am going to send to api server when i click the send or submit button the api server will return the response first i am going to send a simple string hello world if i send now please select the option so you have to choose i am sending one simple argument as a text select the simple string argument submit see here the api server response hello world whatever i am typing it is returning from api server let me show you one more example submit this is the one second option string argument array if you want to pass a multiple strings hello world hello world 2 two strings i am sending to the web api server submit now it is written two strings third one third option is if i want to send a file to api server select the file choose the file select any png or jpg files i selected a png file open this file i am going to send to api server when i submit this button it will retain that file name only let us see it's fine if i want to send multiple files to web api server this is the option i have selected a jet png i will choose another file this time i will select a jpg file jpg file these two files i am going to send to api server submit it will return two file names great if i want to send one string along with one file in this op in this case we will choose this option string argument and one file that means this is blank this is blank string argument and one file in this case also it will return the same hello world and file name let us check it yes your argument is hello world jet cup png in case if you want to send one string array and file array in this case select another file one string two files i am sending so in this case it will return same argument these two file names submit is great another option if you are a c, c sharp developer or if you are using any model level uh, programming you can use it as a you can send it as a model also in this model we are using one string and one file this is one string i am passing as a model object and this is one file if i send also i will it will return the same string 
and the file name in the last one in the same object model I will pass it as a string object along with one file array string object and file array array it means uh, I will choose it more than one file in this case it will return the string variable name this file number this file name it's great so these all are the options now I am passing as a multiform data most of the developers they are using they are stucking for this point uh, how to send and they are they are gathering the information from Google so I hope this is the right place you can find all the solutions here here I have created one function the function is wf send this is a function I am passing the blob variable data one argument this argument is which one I have chosen this option the boundary where we are the starting point and API server response as a reference variable sorry here it's not required this reference I will choose it as a here I created a HTTP client create the object clear all the headers content type as a multiform data this is my API URL server path this is the post request I am sending to the server and I am getting back the status code server response if the server response is 200 ok I am gathering the response from the server as a reference variable just I am closing uh, destroying the object HTTP client object there is another function file type when the user selects jpg or jpeg what the meme type I have chosen here there is uh, one more function file name once the user has chosen the file I need to read the file as a blob variable and close when I click submit button one response variable by default meta type equal to application.json this is the boundary meme type equals to blank and file name when I choose only the string variable I am choosing as the argument one the, uh, the string I am converting to blob variable this blob variable I am concatenating with the boundary and the terminus. These two, I this is for the ending purpose. This is for the starting point. In vice versa, if it, I choose that string array file, string array. This is the string array. This is the file selection purpose if I am selecting the single file this is file array
file file array string and file array these are the options i'm sending the button is uh, pb3 when i'm selecting the send button based on the options i am preparing the blob variable here i am sending blob variable to the function i am getting the response i am displaying here that's it now i will show you my api uh, web application api server 1 i have created different uh, methods all are the post method file upload one here i am receiving only the argument string argument when i choose the second option string array i am receiving here if you want whatever the function business logic you go you want to implement you can implement it here if the user choose option 3 that is a single file just i am returning the file name only if the user sends multiple files i am looping through all the files i am returning to the response if the user chosen one string argument and one file just i am returning as it is the string argument and the file name i am returning if the user choose one string argument along with one file array i am looping this all the 7 and 8 8 is the model data most of the developers know they are looking for this one i think here i have created one model data in c sharp this is my model data i have two type of model data one is for single file purpose another one is file array this class data when the user chosen the option 7 this is the one i am sending the data i am accepting that arguments as a model data then whatever you want to implement your business logic you can implement the business logic here the data you got it here and i am returning the file number and the argument name in the same way now multi data i am using as a array loop i am returning the string array and the file names this is my classes so this is my simple api application simple string argument array string 
simple file file array string argument along with the file string argument along with the file array the 7 and the 8 is most useful for C sharp developers if your API is in ASP.NET Core, it will be more useful. Here is string and here is the file. String and file array. So when uh, this all are now I am using here this is a send uh, sending to the ASP.NET server this is URL I am using HTTP client it is written same argument if you choose string array it will return both values file upload using option 3 this is option 3 let us put the breakpoint submit put it here you got the file here same way now file array I have chosen another file submit this is a very simple power builder application form and ASP.NET Core web API thank you for watching